There has been an explosion at the SpaceX launch site at Cape Canaveral. Here's a live look at the scene. NASA says SpaceX was conducting a test firing of its Falcon 9 rocket when the blast occurred. Now, it's not immediately clear what caused the explosion, but SpaceX does say no one was injured in the blast. It could be, though, a big setback for the company. For more on this, let's bring in Bob McDonald. He, of course, is the host of CBC's Quirks and Quarks. So, Bob, how unusual is it for an explosion like this to happen? Well, Lindsay, exploding rockets have been part of our history for the last half century, ever since we started flying in space. It's unfortunate that these things are the world's largest firecrackers. And when something goes wrong, it goes wrong catastrophically. So it's an all or a nothing proposition. Uh, it doesn't happen as often as it used to in the past. And it's particularly bad when it happens for a private company because they don't have the resources of the government. So it's a little more costly for them, but out of every accident comes knowledge. So once they figure out what went wrong, hopefully they can fix it so it won't happen again. SpaceX not saying much about what caused this, but we do know that it was part of a run-up to the launch that was set for Saturday. Can you uh, tell us a bit about what might have been happening on the ground and how a launch like this unfolds? Well, what they were doing is called a static test, and it's a dress rehearsal for the actual launch. So they go through everything that they're going to do for a launch. They fuel the rocket up totally. They power it up totally. They do a complete countdown all the way to, to zero, including igniting the engines. And by the way, the Falcon 9 has nine engines, nine of them, and they all have to come on at exactly the same time. And they fire the engines, but they have these giant clamps that are holding the rocket rocket down and they just don't let it fly. So they do everything but lift off and they test the engines for only a matter of seconds, maybe five to ten seconds, then they shut everything down just to make sure it works right. So it was during that firing of the engines when something went wrong and maybe one of them or a couple, who knows. Uh, we don't know at this point what went wrong, but when it did, it just ignited the fuel above it because a rocket is mostly fuel but then you light a fire underneath the fuel. That's the way they work. So when you get a fire down here, everything goes, and it's too bad. So when this nine-engine rocket does its job, what's its purpose? What's it supposed to do? Well, what SpaceX is trying to do is take over from NASA. NASA has been launching rockets, you know, since the 1950s, but they want to do it as a business. And SpaceX is only one of many companies that are trying to offer services to space that are 10 times cheaper than what the government used to pay or used to charge. And they, they want to be the purulator or the FedEx of space. To If you have a satellite, no matter where you are, and this satellite was to be for Israel, a communication satellite, they'll offer you a good deal. The Russians are doing the same thing. They offer their what used to be intercontinental ballistic missiles carrying nuclear weapons are now saying, well, we'll use them to give you cheap access to space. So it's a business. That's what they're trying to do. And they're trying to do it as cheaply as possible. But in any business, if you try to go too cheap, then things start going wrong. So they're trying to find that balance. So what's at stake for SpaceX is their reputation as a reliable company. You want to know that if you're going to put your satellite on top of their rocket, that it's going to actually make it. Their, their record is actually very, very good. They've only had two failures, but, you know, any failure is a setback, and they got to relook at this so that they can keep going as a business. You know, if you look at all the competition with all the other players in the private space network, just quantify how big a setback this is for SpaceX. Well, there, there was another one uh, that blew up last year from another company, and they had to completely redesign their rocket. But SpaceX has a good policy. You know, in accidents that they've had before, they say, look, we're going to find out what went wrong, we're going to fix that, and we're going to keep moving forward. And for SpaceX, it's a little more, uh, there's more at stake because they want to put people on top of their rockets. They have a new one that they're going to put up, a uh, capsule to bring astronauts up to the International Space Station, because at the moment, the only way you can get to the space station is on a Russian rocket, and the Americans want to get back on their home turf. And SpaceX is the major competitor for that. So they need to prove that their rocket is really reliable before they put people on it. And Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, wants to go even further. He's talking about going to Mars. <laughs> so the ambitions are huge, but they have to prove that they're reliable and an accident like the one today, hopefully they'll get some knowledge out of that and proceed in a safe way. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Lindsay. Bob McDonald is the host of CBC's Quirks and Quarks. He joined us from Victoria.